I don't know where you guys are at. <clears throat> Hopefully, you're watching my video regardless of your location. But, um, yeah, I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and it's fucking freezing. One second. Alright, um, Condit and Diaz. It's gonna be in theaters, 3D. Uh, I can't make it to Vegas. So, uh, I, I'm gonna try for the, uh, the whole theater deal. And, um, I'm still torn. There's still nothing I can do about how I feel about the, you know, the entire contest. I, I, I think that Carlos has a better, uh, skill set. I think that his striking is, uh, is, um, his boxing isn't as good as, as Diaz, but his tie boxing is better. I think uh, his striking defense is excellent. I think his takedown defense is... Um, is uh, Actually, I think the, the takedown defense in this fight is um, both Carlos and Nick's uh, worst enemy, the takedowns. Um, whoever gets the takedowns... Uh, I can see Carlos taking Nick down and doing much more damage, kind of GSP style, if you will, like GSP style, and, and winning the fight. Um, I can see that happening, grinding out a good decision, you know, ride it out GSP style. Or I could see um, Nick uh, throwing up submissions from his back, just like he did uh, uh, Cyborg. So, uh, you know, I'm not sure. I would love to hear it's one day before the fight. I think there's like 16 hours or so in, in, until uh, we all get to see a spectacle. I think it's going to be a fucking war. I really think it's going to be a war. I just read a uh, Bleacher Report and they said that the word ro the word war uh, when you use it in MMA terms, it's uh it's it sounds bad because these guys aren't going to war. They're um they're just fighting. But they, I mean these guys that, that that's what they consider war. You know uh. Like, uh, America versus Iraq, that's definitely a war. That, um, opera, uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom, or whatever, where we captured, uh, Iraqis and tortured them and killed them. Uh, no offense, but, uh, I've seen some videos, and uh, I don't know where Iraq even came into play, but, uh, regardless, um, uh, yeah, I can see that as being bitter war. That, that's very bitter war. That, that's politics. Let's talk about, about fight politics. Um, shout out to my cousin Larry. Um, I'm not sure how many uh, tours he did, but he did do quite a few. And uh, he's an excellent Marine, as is my cousin Jonathan, excellent Marine. Uh, congratulations to you both. Um, I love you both and, and, and miss you. So, um, uh, anyway, getting back to uh, Diaz and Condit. Um, I, I, I put my money down on Carlos um, about a week ago, and now I'm regretting it. Uh, I think Diaz, he, like you said, he said it perfectly. It's hard to get Muay Thai off when you're moving backwards. And he does move straight forward a lot. He moves straight forward with, like, all these crazy fucking punches. And, like, they come from... Uh, Carlos is wrong. He does use angles. Um, I've seen plenty of angles in Diaz fights. Um, around your arms, you know, uppercuts, around, uh, you know, overhand rights and, and straight lefts. And he loves to utilize the jab. And, and it seems to be uh, more effective for him than, than most fighters. Um... Uh, Carlos, on the other hand, if he gets something off, and I, I just said this is someone the other day, if he gets something off like that fucking flying knee that he threw on Dong Young Kim, if he gets that fucking thing off on Diaz, he does have, according to Bleacher Report again, the toughest chin in the 170 pound division. It's not me, it's Bleacher Report. I'm just saying, uh, if he can take that fucking thing and uh, and and and, uh, and keep going with it, then I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with. Um, then I'm going to go with Nick Diaz, I'm going to lose my bet, but, you know, we, that's why they fight, you know, that's why we fight, you know, that, that's why, that's why we are paying, uh, $50 a piece to watch these two, um, these two warriors go to battle, and, uh, I hate when people text that. To me, texting is a step behind, you know, it's like a step backwards. Why don't you just call me? That way I can hear you and talk to you and everything that needs said will be said right then and there. Instead of, you know, as opposed to, hold on one second, as opposed to, uh, you know, just sending me basically a letter. 
You're sending me a letter. You're sending me a mini letter. Um, and then I have to respond to your, like, gay little mini letter. It just, uh, I don't know. Uh, we might as well go back to Morse code after this. What's next? Like, fucking braille on phones? Oh, well, I'm sure they have uh, already. But, I mean, like, for people they can see. Like you uh, and I. Uh, I can see. You know, not very well. Um, my, um, my eyes been busted up. Quite a few of a black one over here. But, uh, I can see. You know, I don't need fucking a braille phone, but... Looks like that's the next step. Anyway, um, uh, second I want to talk about is Roy Nelson and, and, and Fabrizio Redoom. Uh, I didn't address this fight ever, but I'm going to address it now because I think it's a, it's a great co-main event. I thought that Pierce and Koscheck were the co-main event, but it's not. Those two are the co-main event, and I think that's going to be fireworks. One guy likes to strike, one guy likes BJJ. I'm a BJJ guy, but I do like Nelson striking, but his weakness is his cardio, and uh, we're doomed will outlast him in, in that. I mean, it's kind of like the Diaz Condit. You know, Diaz definitely has better con. I think he has the best conditioning in the 175 division uh, above GSP, above Condit, above anyone. I think he's way, way, way mountain hills uh, above anyone else as far as the cardio department goes and the boxing realm goes. So, I don't know. We'll see. You know, we'll see. Cause check. I'm from Pittsburgh. And uh, I was in Stockton and Lodi in September, and uh, it was nice to be there and, and visit some Jiu-Jitsu academies there. Um, there's a couple of them, uh, but not not the best place in the world to be, you know, being as white as I am. And believe me, I'm I'm fucking white. Uh, but anyway, um, my picks so far, uh, I can't go back on my work, so I made the bet. So Condit fifth round by decision. Um, everyone else seems to be picking Nick Diaz in the championship rounds by TKO. I'm saying Condit by decision. Uh, I'm saying um, uh, Roy Nelson by TKO. And I'm saying Josh Koscheck by, um, uh, Josh Koscheck by submission. Those are my final words. And uh, hopefully um, I'll get some comments and some ratings. Um, next time I'll shave up. Like I said, I'm getting a fucking green screen. I'll put some crazy shit on there. Um, uh... You'll see. I mean, these are just my beginner videos. I just started a few months ago. So, uh, I, I, hopefully, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be a partner with YouTube and, and get a couple uh, get a couple bucks to set up some nice videos. I just, uh, I need you guys to um, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, help me out. Uh, thank you, YouTube, and thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. Thank you.